We are given f of x equals eight times x to the power of natural log x and asked to find f prime of x and f prime of two using logarithmic differentiation. Let's begin by replacing f of x with y and write the given function as y equals eight times x to the power of natural log x. I purposely wrote eight times x to the power of natural log x to emphasize that the exponent of natural log x is only attached to the x, not the eight. And now to perform log differentiation, we now take the natural log of both sides of the equation. And now we want to expand the right side of the equation using the log properties here on the right. We will first apply the product property of logarithms, which is natural log of x times y equals natural log x plus natural log y which means the right side of the equation is equal to natural log eight plus natural log x to the power of natural log x. So our equation is now natural log y equals natural log eight plus natural log of x to the power of natural log x. And now we can expand natural log of x to the power of natural log x by applying the power property of logarithms, which is natural log of x to the power of y equals y times natural log x. This indicates we can take the exponent of natural log x and move it to the front and multiply it by natural log x. This gives us natural log y equals natural log eight plus natural log x times natural log x from here, because we have natural log x times natural log x, we can write this as the square of natural log x. This gives us the equation natural log y equals natural log of eight plus the square of natural log x. The next step is to differentiate both sides of the equation with respect to x. And now differentiating on the left, because we have a function of y and we're differentiating with respect to x, we'll have to apply the chain rule, which means we have an extra factor of dy dx. The derivative of natural log y with respect to x is equal to one divided by y times dy dx. On the right, we have the derivative of natural log eight with respect to x, because natural log eight is a constant. The derivative with respect to x is zero and then we have plus the derivative of the square of natural log x with respect to x, which is going to require the chain rule, where the inner function, which we often refer to as u, is natural log x. The derivative of u squared with respect to x is equal to two times u to the first times u prime, which in our case gives us two times natural log x to the first, or just natural log x, and then times u prime, which is the derivative of natural log x with respect to x, which is one divided by x. Simplifying, we have one divided by y times dy dx equals two natural log x divided by x. And let's continue on the next slide. The next step is to solve the equation for dy dx by multiplying both sides of the equation by y. On the left, y times one divided by y is one, which is why we multiplied both sides by y. We're left with dy dx on the left. We prefer to have the derivative in terms of only x, not x and y. So on the right, we will now replace y with the original function of eight times x to the power of natural log x. This gives us dy dx equals eight times x to the power of natural log x times two natural log x divided by x. And now let's replace dy dx with f prime of x. We have f prime of x equals, multiplying on the right, eight times two is 16. We have 16 x to the power of natural log x times natural log x, all divided by x. So this is the first part of the question where we're asked to find f prime of x using logarithmic differentiation, and now we're asked to find f prime of two, and therefore we substitute two for x. We have f prime of two equals, we have 16 
times 2 raised to the power of natural log 2 times natural log 2 all divided by 2. Simplifying, the exact value of f prime of 2 is equal to, well, 16 divided by 2 is 8, giving us 8 times 2 raised to the power of natural log 2 times natural log 2. And let's also get our decimal approximation to four decimal places. To four decimal places, we have 8.9655. I hope you found this helpful.